Okay, so the game I'm going to be showing you how to make is going to be similar to Geometry Dash. And if you don't know what that is, I'll show you real quick. So basically, you have a cube, and whenever you click the screen, or if you're on mobile, if you touch the screen, you jump. And your cube rotates when you jump. And I'm going to be showing you how to make something similar to that. And... Yeah, you can switch game modes, go into the the ship game mode, and there's a bunch of other ones like the ball and the wave, and anyway, I'm pretty sure most of you know what this is, but we're basically going to be focusing on the cube, which is basically just jumping and rotating, and, and I'm going to show you how to do that with code and Unity, so enjoy the video. So the first thing we have to do is create a new project and making it 3D, save it to any location you want and call it anything you want. I'm going to call it Geometry Dash. And create. So once you've created your new project, you create a new C sharp script and you call it jump and you open it up in your script editor use visual studio you can use mono develop or whatever you want and this is what you're going to use to make your character jump but first to do that you got to set up your scene so we're going to create a 3d object cube for the ground and you I think it's easier if you put it in 2D mode to edit the level and what's it doing okay and you move that and you have a ground and the next thing you do is you create another cube which is going to be your player so you rename the first cube to ground and the second cube to player. So what you want to do to set up your player game object is um, set the mass of the object to 150, the drag to zero, angular drag to zero, and change your freeze position to the Z axis and your freeze rotation to the X and Y axis. And then you want to add the jump script and I've already edited the jump script and basically what I have is I've created a private rigid body to make physics calculations and in the start function I've added rb equals get component dot rigid body and in your update I've added the a physics raycast to see if it's making contact with the ground if it is you want it to stop the rotation and round it to the nearest 90th degree and if it's hitting the ground and you press the mouse button you will clear out your all the velocity and change your force to and add a force of five fifty five thousand in the up direction and if you're not hitting anything you want the rotation function to happen which I've added here and I've saved it and added it to my object and when I hit play, you get a nice jump function similar to Geometry Dash. And you can click multiple times in midair and you won't you only be able to jump when you hit the ground. And you can play with this, like see if if you want to make it even more like the original Geometry Dash. If you hold down, you'll be able to jump again stuff like that you can also use the up arrow and the space bar stuff like that you can do in geometry dash so now that you have a jump function working you want to go and make a function where it'll slide along the ground so in your update function you want to create a vector 3 and you want to call it 
velocity, or vel for short, and you want to set it to rb.velocity, and you want to change the velocity on the x-axis to, to 5, and you want to set rb.velocity to equal the velocity vector that you just made. So that will change the velocity on the x-axis without changing it on any other axis. That's why I like to do it like that. Because if you don't do it like that, it's going to seem floaty. And it's not going to look as good, not feel as good when you play it. So you might want to move the player a little bit to the left of the screen so you can see it move. And when you hit play, you have a cube that jumps and lands just like in Geometry Dash. But you've also noticed that the cube bounces a little bit. That's because of the friction of the cube acting on the ground. But there's an easy way to fix that. What you do is you make a physics material. You just call it a new physics material. And change the dynamic friction and the static friction both to zero. And you go to your player and you add the that to your box collider on the player hit play and you should have a nice cube just gliding on the ground the next thing you'd want to do is make a level so you can program spikes if you want if you want it to if you want the cube to die when it hits a spike or if you want to um, make a particle system when it explodes you can do that too if you wanted to get fancy but I'm not going to be fancy I'm just going to make a few few obstacles for you to jump over let me position them and when you hit play you have a cube so you can use this feel free to use this script in any game you want I'll try to add the script file in the description so I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial let me know in the comments if you liked it if you really liked it leave a like subscribe so let me know if you'd like to see more of these tutorials in the future thanks